Body benches, a new way to prevent bullying. Not in your sides, Jenny Martinez takes a look at how they could help your kids. Recess time is the best time for children at Painted Sky Elementary. Running around the playground and getting some playtime with friends. But while recess is fun and games to some, others don't feel the same. One of the things that we noticed last year is that we periodically had students who would just be wandering on the playground, not really having anyone to play with or sad. Leading kids to tag along with monitors, but teachers wanted the kids to play with other students their own age, most importantly, to have their own friends. That's when these friendship benches were brought in. So here's how these friendship benches work. If a student is having a bad day or they come to the playground and they have no one to play with, they take a seat on the bench. And in turn, another student will come over, ask them what's wrong, and they'll find them a friend to play with. Teaching each student about kindness, care, friendship, and most of all, respect. I just think it's a great resource to have here. Um, so if people are upset or sad, that they can always have a friend to talk to. This is where students like Ali Lauren come in to help. There's this one girl I saw sitting down, so I went over to her. I sat right next to her like this, and I um, asked her, um, you know, what's wrong? And she's a little shy, so she, you know, just kind of struck. And I asked her, um, are you lonely? Like, do you have no one to play with? And th she nodded her head and said yes. And so I told, um, I told her that she'd go play with my other friends that are playing on the playground. I think it's important because all everyone who was a bully at one time can see that it really hurts people and this bench is a way that they can figure out that it hurts people. But not all schools have these benches, but they have other tactics to stop bullying. Take Halloway Elementary and their kind coyotes, ranging from the first grade to the fifth. The mission that we would teach all of our friends on the playground, uh, emotional intelligence. So. Uh, understanding how to express their feelings and solve problems. The great thing about these kind coyotes is they give up their own recess to help others. They walk around the playground with these vests. You can see that it says be kind and they also hold these clipboards. You can see it says what can I do? It's part of their problem solving and it says either walking away and letting it go or tell them to stop. For the past three years, third grader Aris Martinez has devoted his free time to make sure no one on this playground feels left behind or even bully or if you're playing a game and you know don't know who has the like a ball or you want to fight over it you don't fight over it we do either rock paper scissors do another activity walk, talk it out and stuff like that and while this is not a district-wide effort most principals are on board with the anti-bullying programs students raise funds in order to have the benches installed at their schools and right now Holloway Elementary is raising money to have their own benches Jennifer Martinez Kega 9 on your side so nice to see that bullying is being recognized because when I was in school no oh no mm -mm. Uh -uh. nobody even talked about it and it's making the kids really think. It really does. It's Way to job. go.